This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the 7 a.m. Barbados Today update for Wednesday, January 15th, 2014. I'm Don Paris. We begin with news of an opposition change of heart. It has to do with efforts to have Speaker of the House Michael Carrington censured. Sources say the Barbados Liberal Party has withdrawn the motion it brought against him in December last year. The motion was reportedly pulled back by opposition leader Mia Motley yesterday before the House had its first sitting for the year. The BLP was critical of the way Carrington carried out his duties in the lower house and was seeking to have the House reprimand him. The head of the Barbados Economic Society is suggesting indirect taxation to help improve the country's economic fortunes. Jeremy Stevens says that's in addition to planned public sector job cuts. He says taxing consumption is an option. You know, like, it, that might be more of a recipe that at least, if it is a default tool of retrenchment, that would help government to improve the collection of revenues, A, improve, improve it in terms of efficiency, and B, it would ease the burden are many persons affected. That is, if they can't afford to consume, then you're not going to be taxed. But I wouldn't talk about raising that at this point. That mm -hmm. could actually ruin confidence. So you need to be a bit more correct, uh, creative with your indirect taxation. But, and I, I don't prescribe raising taxes across the board at all. Not during the bad confidence and its contracting economy. Stephen was speaking to Barbados today on the heels of the central bank governor's report on the country's economic performance last year and prospects for this year and 2015. And Governor Dr. Dilal Worrell is reporting that Barbados' tourism prices may be lower than they were five years ago, but the island is still not doing the numbers it needs. At the outset of 2013, Barbados' tourism prices and the prices of its other internationally traded goods and services were lower than they were in 2008 relative to the prices of our Caribbean competitors. However, although Barbados has remained competitive on price, there has been some decline in our share of the Caribbean market. Therefore, initiatives to promote investment increase productivity, improve the quality of the product, and to enrich the tourist experience are the focus of the tourism development strategy. Dr. Worrell also disclosed that Barbados' foreign exchange reserves have continued on a downward slide, moving from the equivalent of 19 weeks of imports in April last year to 15 weeks at the end of the year. A slump in private foreign investment inflows was the major reason behind the decline in foreign exchange reserves in 2013. Reserves declined by $301 million and net foreign capital inflows were $188 million lower at about $500 million. At December 31, foreign exchange reserves were the equivalent of 15 weeks of imports of goods and services. In sports, Trinidadian Marissa Aguilera will leave the West Indies women's squad for the upcoming eight-match series in New Zealand. She was named captain of the 15-member team by West Indies selectors yesterday. There's one newcomer to the squad. She's Vanessa Watts, a right-arm slow bowler and lower-order batter from Jamaica. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. All trade-ins are welcomed.
In regional news, police in Antigua and Barbuda are investigating the murder of a German national in the country's first killing for the year. The 63-year-old was found with a single gunshot wound to his head. His wife also sustained head injuries in what is believed to have been a robbery. Lawmen say four armed men dressed in dark clothing forced their way into the couple's home and robbed them of an undisclosed sum of money. The vehicle the bandits stole from the couple was later found burnt and abandoned. Internationally now, a 12-year-old boy is in custody in New Mexico after walking into his school's gymnasium and opening fire with a shotgun. He seriously wounded two schoolmates. A 14-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl were airlifted to a hospital in Texas, about 175 miles away from the Berendo Middle School in Roswell. Officials say the boy, who was shot twice in the face, was the intended target. A classmate said the shooter was apparently bullied, but New Mexico State Police say they still don't have a motive. And that's been the 7 a.m. update. Join us again at noon. Until then, log on to www.barbithistoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Don Paris. Do have a pleasant day. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes,